Play ball, opening day baseball. Let's make sure that as a sports photographer, we capture each player on each team and get the pictures that the parents are going to want. Let's get to it right now. So one of the challenges of, sh of capturing a baseball team is you really want to make sure that you capture each player. And if you want to take that to the next level, you want to make sure you capture each player in different portions of the game. Meaning you want to get them hitting, running, fielding, and throwing. So if you can get them in action in those four sequences, uh, those photos are going to have a lot more value to the parents that are viewing them. So I just want to share some tips on how you can get these particular shots of each player if you really plan out your day when you're coming out to the baseball field. Okay, let's get right into it. So tip number one, arrive at the field early so you have a game time. You want to get there a minimum of 30 minutes before that game time because this is the perfect opportunity to get photos of each player as they're fielding and throwing. Because as we know, as a game goes, you don't know who's going to be playing what position. But it's a perfect opportunity to get these shots of them getting ground balls and throwing because the coach is going to have them in a line and they're going to take turns uh, taking ground balls and throwing. You want to try to position yourself so you're not showing the other players in line. You want to make it look as much like a game situation as possible. So um, be aware of where the sun is. Okay, tip number two. You want to capture each player batting. In Little League, every player gets the bat. You want to get a shot of them static batting in the middle of a swing, even if it's a hit or a foul ball, as long as we're swinging at the ball and you can get the ball in the frame. Those are great shots. They make contact with the ball and start running to first base. If you just keep shooting in a burst as they continue their swing and then take a few steps towards first base, uh, those are some great shots. And you want to really make sure you keep track of who the leadoff batter is because it's, once they put their helmets on, they, they all look very similar, and so I like to note if he's a lefty or a righty, what his number is, and I try to pay attention to what cleats they're wearing because this, these are the things that will help me identify him later when I'm going through the photos. Tip number three, pitchers and catchers, and particularly let's talk about pitchers. Make sure you capture the pitchers as they're warming up, and typically what I like to do is the pitcher will be warming up right before the inning's going to start, and the, you know, the infield's in the back doing their warm-ups. Try to get on the field if you can and capture the pitcher warming up with his catcher and again try to angle yourself so you're not getting other players in the background because it doesn't look like game situation if you see more than one ball in play so if there's a player in the background you know fielding a ground ball or throwing a ball to another player um, that doesn't quite look as good as if you can get that clean shot with nobody behind the pitcher so the other half of the pitcher catcher combination obviously is the catcher so you want to make sure you get both sides of the battery i will capture the catch the let me try that again I will capture the catcher in action right after the blue says balls in. Okay, so they're warming up before the inning's going to start. They're all doing their warm ups. Um, when the inning's about to start, blue is going to call balls in. And then this is where the pitcher's going to throw one last pitch to the catcher, and then he's going to make a throw down to second base. Position yourself down the line, whether it's a lefty or righty catcher and make sure that you are ready for this shot. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. I hope those tips were at least will get you started and kind of point you in the right direction. Um, I've, I've struggled in the past when I would go through and shoot a game and then realize that I missed a couple players or, you know, you notice that you only got maybe one or two shots of a certain player. And when the parents come to you and ask, why did you only get these shots of my player? There's no excuse that you can give them that makes it okay. So you want to make sure you get as many shots as you can in the positions that you want and take advantage of the warm-ups when you can but obviously game situations are going to be your best shots but you really got to make sure you get yourself covered and get all the shots in total because you never know who that one parent or who that one player is that is going to want your photos more than any other so again thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video if you like what you see subscribe and stay tuned for our next video this is john osumi from motion shooter photography